the Sunday afternoon game in the late window, Chargers versus Raiders, Chargers three-point favorites. I I know we talked about this earlier with DeMarco Farr, like what will the crowd be tonight? Will the Bills Mafia really take over SoFi Stadium on the night where the Rams are celebrating their Super Bowl championship? Is that really going to happen? So I I will assume, like every other Raiders-Chargers game, that the Raider fans are going to completely overwhelm what small Charger fan base there is. Now, for all the trolls on Twitter that tell me that the Chargers are picking up steam and L.A. is starting to really get behind the Chargers, you're driving around on the 405 and you're seeing some Charger flags and that's an indication to you that people are all of a sudden into the Chargers, or you're seeing a kid wearing a Herbolt jersey, I got to think the Raider fans overwhelm the Charger fans like 70-30 Raider fans, don't you guys think? Probably. I know. Ain't no shame in yeah. that. You already know the situation. It's a team without yeah. a home. Regardless of where they rent or not, it's a team without a home. So I don't ever expect for them to have home. I mean, court Cowboy fans it. totally took over SoFi during the preseason right. against the Chargers. So I, it's, I, I expect to see that again. I think what's more comical now is what happens on the field because that's where the real comedy starts. The you know the 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 opening act is is the blackout. The main event is Brandon Staley going for it on fourth and forty. <laughs> and he watched this bomb to Allen Robinson. <laughs> Allen Robinson from the mm-hmm. from the LA Rams. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're just having a Brown, hell you're of having, a show today. Yeah, well, this is a what hell of a show when, today. When you can't, when you can't get in on the fantasy draft and you can't learn all the players, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a little discombobulated. Yeah, yeah, you I'm are discombobulated. I'd be yeah. really curious though. Like, this is, I think, Derek Carr, and I'm not even exaggerating. I think he has so much pressure on him this year to be a legit quarterback. Now, I think he's uh, Browner's a big fan of Hunter Renfro. I mm-hmm. think Darren Waller's one of the best tight ends when healthy. Now you got Devontae Adams. You got a new coach in Josh McDaniels that probably is going to have a short lease. Maybe if Derek Carr struggles, I'm not saying this year. I'm saying like in general, they might go out and get someone if Derek Carr doesn't meet the yeah, But didn't they just give him like a big new fat contract? With the expectation that he'll do, that he'll elevate his big game with things. Devontae Adams. But that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. With the added money, with the new roster, like he has to go out and be good. If he he's not to. at the end of the year, if he hasn't been better than Kirk Cousins and or Dak Prescott, then that's not a good sign. Because in that division, you have to be better than Herbert, Mahomes, and Russell Wilson. The Russell Wilson part, I don't think that's gonna be that's gonna be hard at all. But I that that's that's a tall I mean, task, made, man. You made the playoffs last year in the same division. So to take a Burley. step back, to take a step back this year would be a, a huge failure. A yeah. huge failure. Yeah, listen, if I'm if I'm Derek Carr in this game and I'm you know thinking about how the Chargers – and look, I don't know if Derek Carr is really caught up in this kind of stuff, but I remember when it. the whole Tom Brady thing happened where, yeah. um, where you know, when Brady said they wanted to keep that mother effer and Over then me. Dana White goes on this Rob Gronkowski kind of like podcast thing and says that Dana White had put the deal together to get Brady and Gronkowski to the Raiders to the point where Brady was looking for houses in Vegas. And Brady told the story that a team wanted him but he's like, they chose that mother effer. Um, wow. I was, uh, I mean, if you're Derek Carr, there's one little thing you're kind of trying to, I got to live up to how Brady knocked me, but then how Herbert in that interview, I think it was on NFL network, I think where he's like, Hey, look, 100, right. You want to be, you know, the best team in our division. You got to play against guys like Russell Wilson. Um, and you got to play against guys like Patrick Mahomes. He never mentions, a Derek Carr. I mean, if you're just trying to like find your motivation, it's week one, you're on the road, even though it's going to be a Raider home game, you've got your best pal Devonte Adams now. I mean, so you've now look, Amari Cooper is a nice player, but he ain't Devonte Adams, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. And, and so Derek Carr's now got the receiver that he wanted. The guy's got this lifelong relationship with and the chargers, Look, everybody's hyped on the Chargers as usual. Everybody thinks their roster's great. They look at all the the additions they made in free agency. And I'm just waiting for it to all fall apart right in front of them. And I agree with all the hype. I agree that they are an incredibly talented roster. I agree that Justin Herbert 
has put up magical stats. I agree mm-hmm. that they have the big names on defense, mm-hmm. which is going to make the collapse even sweeter. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. And you know, it, I can't, I can't wait till we get to the end of the season of this. And I'm laughing at y'all again. Like I'm laughing at y'all with this whole Padres. Like you season. last, like you laughed at yeah, us last man. year with the Chargers. Yeah, or well, how we listen, laughed at you because your coach listen. just couldn't help himself. Just listen. couldn't help himself. You know what? You got to be who you are. Let's call it. Who you are? Got to be who you are, man. Be you. Be you, Don. That's be the problem. You. That's the problem. He's him. He's unqualified for the job. Whoa. Just, all right. Well, listen, be you, we're going to see. 